Hindi hadlang ang coronavirus pandemic para maturuan ang mga may talento sa pag-awi, pagsayaw at pag-arte. Gaya na lamang ng isang performing arts school na nakabase sa Canada. Ating alamin kung papaano nila natuturuan ang kanilang estudyante at mga hamon ng online classes sa report ni Mylene Mariano Rivera. Kung dati-rati naiipon sila at aktwal ang pagtuturo ng pag-awit, pagsayaw at pag-arte, ngayong may coronavirus pandemic, bigla itong nabago. Ilang performing arts school sa Canada ang nagpahayag ng kanilang mga aktibidad ngayong may pandemya. Sinabi ni Josie De Leon ng JDL Performing Arts School na pilitan silang magsara at hindi na ipatupad ang classroom learning. Sa tulong ng makabagong teknolohiya, nagbuka sila ng virtual classes simula ngayong buwan ng Hunyo na tatagal hanggang Agosto. The Zoom virtual classes had become the alternative. Though we cannot replicate the traditional classroom learning, these online classes uh, were intended to help mitigate uh, learning loss during the COVID-19 shutdown period. I strongly encourage the parents and the kids to to take advantage of these online uh, virtual classes. This way, the kids will keep their creative minds going. And since everybody will like stay home, um, it also um, helped the parents for the kids to to do something during the lockdown period. Sa matiyagang pagtuturo, nahihikayat ang mga estudyante na magperform. Sa katunayan, nakabuo sila ng music video na alay para sa mga frontliner. Pero matindi rin ang hamon ng virtual classes. Ayon kay Miss Josie, ilan dito ang pagkalito sa choreography, pati na ang pagsunod sa script ng mga bata. Naniniwala si Miss Josie na kung matyaga at malikhain ang mga pagtuturo, madaling matuto ang mga estudyante kahit hindi face-to-face -face o harapan ang paraan ng pagtuturo. Now for dance, uh, again, you know, the teacher will be uh, teaching uh, certain dance steps uh, or choreography and then they will follow at home. Uh, what's what was challenging for the teacher is that sometimes she's using her right hand and the kids are using their left hand and uh, the teacher cannot correct uh, the posture you know things like that so even even in in vocals too so it's it's really different when you do a personal uh, class or, or a face-to-face -face class now for drama because zoom is uh, is good for meetings so for drama I think it worked the best because in drama when we give them monologues they, they they talk right so it worked well for that but in what was missing with drama is that usually uh, we teach them uh, to act as a group so we can't do that anymore right we do script reading as a group it's still fine Right. So, but of course, in all of these challenges, you know, we try to adjust the best way we can and to make use of what is available for us. Para sa Eagle News, my name Mariano Rivera. We live in interesting times.